It's been a while, however, today I'll be showing you my newest queen ants, and soon to be colonies. But firstly, let's take a look at the meat ants, housed in the desert of Down Under. As always, they've been a really versatile colony, as they should be for Iridomamex purpose. Their diet continues to consist of occasional huntsman spiders and daddy longlegs to feed their ever-growing young, as well as large test tubes full of Maximus isotonic sports drinks. Some interesting behaviour that I've noticed as the temperatures changed moving from winter to spring was that the colony decided to lay quite a number of larvae on the surface of the nest. This is somewhat rare behaviour, however, it does happen. This is because the humidity and temperature on the top of the nest was favoured to that of the inside, providing the larvae with more optimal and efficient growing conditions. That's it for a quick summary on the desert of Down Under. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Now onto the queen ants that I've caught. I'm currently storing them in an expensive pen case with black velvet covering the queens. The first queen I'd like to showcase is this Iridomermix bignelli, a fairly standard Australian species, found everywhere. This particular one has Maximus isotonic sports drink instead of water as well. It'll turn the larvae a greenish tint, which is pretty cool. You can see there's a tiny bit of mould on it, but I think that should be alright, otherwise I'll transfer it into another test tube. Currently she has a couple of eggs and soon to emerge larvae. The next queen I'd like to show you is my Ride to the Panera Metallica Queen with three larvae. You can see now that her eggs have developed into larvae, she's been very eager to venture out and find food for her young. However, I will feed her once my crickets arrive at the end of this week. Hopefully that won't be too long and the larvae won't start eating each other by then. Once this queen has some workers, I will most likely move her colony into an Ant Australia white hung formicarium, as Ride to the Panera can't grip very well, which makes housing them tricky in the acrylic nests. Here again we have another Iridomermix Spignelli queen with some eggs and larvae. So far she's been doing really well, as Iridomomex generally do, making them possibly the greatest beginner species to keep, as they grow quite quickly, are not too picky when it comes to eating, and they are very versatile and hardy species, meaning it'll take a bit of effort to kill the colony.
Deja vu, we have another ride to the Panera Metallica Queen, this time with one wing and with a couple of eggs. Originally, she didn't lay for about a month, however, once again, now that the weather is warming back up here in Australia, she's decided to lay a couple. Rites Panera queens are semi-claustral, meaning that they must actively hunt for food and nutrients for their larvae during the founding stage of the colony. So unlike the Iridomamic Spignelli queens, I'll have to start feeding her once her eggs develop into larvae. Finally, we have yet another Iridomermex Pignelli Queen. I have a couple of these ones, so if you're a new or an experienced antkeeper and want one of these, direct message me on Instagram linked below and I'll sell her and others to you fairly cheap within Australia. Those were my test tube queens, however, something I personally find heaps, heaps, heaps more exciting is my 8 queen Nyland area colony. They are currently housed in an experimental extra hydration prototype nest from Ants Australia that I was sent a while ago. And you can see just how many eggs and larvae they have produced by the eight queens. Leave a comment below on how many eggs you predict there are. The reason I'm specifically excited for this colony is because Nylandaria as a species grows ridiculously fast, regardless of queen count. My friend John at Tank Society had a Nylandaria colony that absolutely exploded in population. Compare that to this eight queen colony. I'm kind of scared if I'm honest. But there you have it, all of my queen ants and a quick Desert of Down Under colony update. Which queen and species do you like the most out of the ones I've shown today? Leave your answer in the comments below. Not to mention, we also reached 10,000 subscribers, so look out for a 10k subscriber special where I have something planned that no one will see coming, as well as that the Ant Jungle Terrarium update. So stay tuned by staying subscribed. Thanks for watching, Ant Invasion out.